Hello there, children. It's your favourite big-headed twat here again. Uh, Hulkster, doing a review. Um, this is a Power Rangers review, as you know, because you clicked on the video. It's its title. Um, I might just start not titling my videos and see if people watch them. Hmm. Anyway, video review. Now, last videos. I can take the last video was Cosmos, but the last proper review was the Mighty Wolf from Exod. Uh, good toy. Um, blah, 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 blah. This is the, the, the Sixth Ranger Zord. Uh, the Dragon Zord. Now, this is it. There you go. There's its tail. This spinny bit moves around. Yeah. Basically, this is it. This is a quick view. Um, the electronics of mine don't work. They do this. That's it. It's me. That's what that's life. Um, now. Articulation on this toy. You can move the knees, but that's due to transformation. You can move the hips, but that's due to transformation. You can move the elbows, but not that well because his chest gets in the way, so you've got that. You can move the wrists, that much up. The rest of it's down due to transformation. That's it. Uh, mine's a little bit discoloured, but still the toy. Oh, and last bit tail spins, and you can pop it out and move it around a bit. Mine's chewed, but hey, somebody loved it. Yeah, and this is that's, that's it. Um, most of the stickers are on my one, so you can have a good look at them. Mighty Morphin stickers, so it's just Thunderbolts covering this thing, and the big M's, and all this other stuff. Um, the overall, I'm just going to say this now and get out of the way. This toy is pretty shit. If it wasn't for the fact that it was Tommy Zord, and it had big traumatic entrances, and had the cool missile fingers going doo 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 doo, and his dragon dagger, if it wasn't for that, no one would give two shits about this toy. Swear to God, it's fucking horrible. Really is horrible. It's only worth it for what it does with the others, but on its own as a piece, it is one of the worst auxiliary swords, if you like. It's almost an auxiliary sword. It's a proper mega sword in itself. Now, my next video review after this one will be either Titanus or Gojujin. And when I do Gojujin, you'll I'll do a comparison to see how far toys come. But anyway, I digress. This thing here, it, I mean, I've, I've showed this off as much as I can. In the box, which I've got away, so I'm not going to get it out, you get this broken down. You get the stand broken down into two pieces. You get a handle, which I don't have and is relatively pointless. And if I do try and buy a handle, it costs me £30 on eBay, they can go fuck themselves. And. It also came with a Tommy 8 inch figure, Green Ranger, which is the only way to get it. It came with the shield, looks very nice in the box, it's windows in the box. Um, does it come? That Tommy doesn't come with a Dragon Dagger though, only comes with the standard pistol. Who knows, right. This is all I can do with this toy right now. I'll be back in a minute. Well, it won't be a minute, it'll be seamless to you. With um, what you, the, the only other thing you can do with it before the Ultra Zord, the one other thing, the Mega Dragon Zord, whatever they call it in the show. But yes, this is Dragon Caesar from G Ranger, and here we'll be back in a minute. Hello there, part two. That's not the same video. Ugh, fuck it. Um, basically, the Mega Dragon Zord. No, before that. Size comparison. You remember in the show, the Tyrannosaurus is basically the same size as the Dragon's Order in the stages? 
Yeah. But then you also remember the show that when this turned to the Megazord, he was the same size again. Gotta love continuity. Anyway, to make the Mega Dragonzord, you do not need the Teledactyl, you do not need the Triceratops. Triceratops? You need the Tyrannosaurus. You need... Sabertooth Tiger! Triceratops. Mastodon! Now, the first thing we'll do is we'll break down Dragon Caesar. So, what do we do? Pull his tail off. Then we split him in half, like this. And take that bit off. Right. This is where it gets funny. It doesn't really. You take the hands. Right. You remember how I showed you they fold up? If you do that, they kind of push into the chest. So I'll show this one head on. You push it up. And, and it kind of slots into these gaps here. Take these gaps and move them around the front. And when you push this whole thing back together, which ain't easy because it's just trying to break on me. You're watching live Dragon's Order repair on YouTube. Hey, got it. My pin came loose inside. Now, luckily, this thing's designed well so that it pops apart. You see the um, light. Grey button there, I pop it apart. So push this bad boy back on. Right. So push it back together now, and then you push the chest together. Very important. Okay, now the hand, the legs, move them back one. Knee now, push it down. Lift this flap up. You fold the foot all the way up like this. So first you fold it back, lift up the flap, while holding said flap up, twist the foot all the way up like this, giving kind of thigh guards. I don't know. Right. Now you set up the mastodon just as you did for the my muffin. Zord, so you pop that off, pull it up like this, arms, twist like that, and again here, so straighten that up, pop that round, move that up, twist it like that, push the foot in, boom, boom, this wraps around here, you can see the plug there, that's what holds it on in the Dragon Caesar, right, leave the tail but it's not used anymore, leave the legs, so, triceratops, fold, oops, tail up, fold that up, push it on, chicken fried rice, put that on, put that up, Put that up, put them down, put that in there, and then this is the bit that's a bit crap, because remember this thing's essentially hollow inside now, so what you need to do is, you lower the mouth, like the jaw, and he gets a floppy head, like this, so what you need to do is you need to push his fin up, and then push it down again, and that's what locks his face in place, that's his face really badly done to be fair um, the face isn't great you can see inside it's okay you know it works that's essentially the Mega Dragon's Orb it looks pretty cool it has exactly the same failings as the main Dragon's Orb lack of articulation where the articulation is etc etc now this thing doesn't use 
the Megazord weapons. Doesn't use the sword, doesn't use the Mastodon's head as a shield. What this thing does is use this stand piece, which is only used in this part here, comes in the box, okay? What you do is, you see how this is kind of levered this way, and you see how this is levered. This pushes in here, what you, you like hook it in, hook this tab into here, and then you push it up like that. Okay, then you take the tail, which is supposed to be grey wise, turning brown. You see hole there. Look in here, there's a little there's a little nub. That slots on like that, push that down. That's this thing here. Now I'm not sure which side the handle fits on, but basically it's, it's, there's a handle that fits on it around here somewhere, probably there since there's a little nub little nub there probably there now this is it back and say that's it it just kind of stands there and he stands there and holds it with the handle and it goes from that little nub there into his hand so you don't need the handle. So why, eBay sellers, would I pay 30 quid for the little plastic handle? You know, go fuck yourselves. So, yeah, that, that's basically it. It's, this is how it looks. This is, this is it. And when he, when he's finished, that's it. He holds his big spear. Pretty shit, really, isn't it? Let's be honest. Let's be honest. I mean, the, the gold chest is quite nice. But it's essentially the Megazord again, but with a stupid weapon. I don't, I don't care what anyone says. It, it looks ridiculous. It doesn't look like a weapon. It looks like a hat stand. I'll put the hat stand over there. It even has the feet of a hat stand. I mean, come on. Apart from that, it's essentially the Megazord again, but with a worse head. Better chest, but the same articulation. This in itself would not make the Dragon Zord worth purchasing. And to be fair, when I do the Ultra Zord review, well, Titanus review, you, you still, outside of the collector's point of view, get myself back in, outside of a collector's point of view, you would struggle to justify this creature, this creation, this this toy. It's not very good. The build quality is the same as all the others, so it's average to poor. There's very few well-built ones. Wild Force being an example. Um, the the toy itself has no articulation. Its compatibility is to make the same thing again. Uh, and when you get to the Ultra Zord mode, and it's not much of a spoiler, me going, "Ooh, wait for the next video in the future at some point," but it's. It's essentially disappointing. I mean, if you're friends with me on Facebook, you see exactly what the Zergazor turns into. It is a prime example of fiction being better than fact. The, the show portrays it to be this beast of a creature. You remember it being a beast of a creature, but when you get one, it's not that great. I, li I like having it. I would I'll enjoy it in my collection. And for all its flaws, I still like the toy. Don't get me wrong. This this isn't me hating on the toy. I like the toy. I would, I don't want to get rid of mine before anyone starts asking me. But looking at it purely purely from a toy collector's point of view, purely basing it on other toys, other Zord toys, ones that come out later, it isn't that great. It really isn't, and you need to be prepared for that when. You, if if you decide you want to get one, and when you get it, you need to be prepared for the fact that really it's not great. Nostalgia is what gives it its strength. So I'll leave you with that thought. Nostalgia is strength. Take care, enjoy yourselves. Don't rape kids, and be nice, and look after your grandmothers unless they're dead, in which case it doesn't matter. And 
Uh, yeah. Love you, bye.